I don't know how many cases start out. I'm in my 30s. When I was 19, I had a boyfriend that was involved in a robbery. And the boyfriend and the girlfriend, the girlfriend wants to be loyal. She frequently becomes an accomplice. So we know a couple of things already just after a sentence or two. She got charged with a conspiracy to commit a felony. Accomplice liability means you're charged with the same thing he is. He's committing robberies. You're in a close relationship. You don't disavow him. Um, oddly enough, the uh, statute that allows you to deny responsibility for an accomplice not only requires you to disassociate yourself from the potential criminal, but you're actually required to make a report to the police. So you could actually distance yourself from somebody that you know is committing a crime, but if there's enough indications that you were with him during the planning or you knew that it was going down, even if you distanced yourself, the police will probably bring a charge because you did not go to the police and say, hey, you're, this is going down. I don't want any part of it. So, um, so a woman in a close living relationship with a guy, frequently there's drug use. Frequently the guy will be dealing to uh, maintain a lifestyle or at least pay bills. And when he gets raided by the police and they know he's in a living relationship with the woman, even if the woman is just turning a blind eye to what's going on, uh, he's in the household. And then they search and then they find the drugs in the household. They get his statement. They frequently turn the woman or try to get her to testify against the man and threaten her with jail time or taking her children away. They threaten the same thing against the man and then they try to just get convictions out of it. Um, in this particular case, 2014, no, she was 19 and now she's 34. So 15 year old, is that right? Yeah. 15 year old charge, boyfriend related, nothing for 19 years, even though it's a felony and it's a drug felony. If she's done a good job with her life, uh, I think she's a good candidate. I think she'll get the vote she needs from the pardon board, but she's got to get that filed. Uh, something I always like to mention at any point is that my whole uh, participation in this process is I have the website recorderaser.net and anybody has a Pennsylvania conviction. Okay, not Alabama, not Utah, not Texas. Pennsylvania conviction of any sort, if you fill out the form, first name, last name, date of birth, email, and phone number, it comes only to me and my crew. We research on the UJS portal. If we can't find it, we give you an option for getting a more official, more complete uh, criminal history. Our job is to help you find the record. Once I look at it, I can tell you what can be cleared and when through the use of pardons and expungements. None of this costs anything because what I do is once I figure out what is needed to clear the record, I quote a fee for the pardon or the expungement based on the number of charges. Uh, possibly the county where the conviction is, etc.